Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, now you know and you guys today I'm going to be sharing with you some favorites that I have been loving in the past month. So until then If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then, then I would ask that you consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like, and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So. I do have some favorites to show. I've got some techie favorites, like Amazon favorites. I've got some clothing favorites. I've got some makeup favorites. Actually, I have a couple of home favorites as well, which I'll probably do the home favorites first just to kind of get them out of the way. This is, of course, my table. I'm sorry if the audio is bad. My mic is pointing in the opposite direction. But yeah, I know my first favorite is 100% my new table. We've had this for about a month now in the house and I am literally obsessed with it. I use it every single day and I just love this table so, so freaking much. It's got blue chairs, as you can see, and it is a really thick marble slab. It is just absolutely stunning. And then I have some really nice little decoration pieces on top. Next up, I have got my new office chair. I love this office chair so much. Please do not pay attention to my desk. I know it's a mess, but this office chair I did get from Home Goods, and it is the cutest little thing in the entire world. I'm trying so desperately to keep it clean and to not get anything on it, but it is absolutely adorable. I love it. This freaking bench is the cutest thing. I got this from Target, and I really, really, really like this bench. It just kind of made everything look so much nicer over here, but now I can do like my little outfit of the days and now have like this stool standing here with the router on top of it. Now the router's down there, but yeah. So those are my first three little home favorites. Okay. Back over here, I do have a couple of beauty favorites, so we'll go ahead and do those. First thing that I wanna show is this Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm. I've been seeing these everywhere and they've been around for a very long time. This is not new. Here's what it looks like. And when you open it up, it's like a little chapstick kind of situation. I got mine in clear. I have mine in clear and I have one in rosewood. I ended up taking the uh, rose one, rosewood one back. I never used it. Um, I swatched it at the store and I was like, oh, they're, they both look so cute. So I ended up getting both the clear and the other one, but I ended up keeping the clear just because, I don't know, when I want like a lipstick, then I'll use a color. But if I want a lip balm, like just a lip, like a chapstick, I don't usually wear color too much because I tend to like, I have really dry skin, so I have really dry lips. <laughs> so like I tend to really smear my lips in chapstick. <laughs> I have like an Hermes uh, lip balm that's really great. And this one's really good. I just prefer to use a clear gloss, like a clear one, because then you can't see it. <laughs> if I used a colored one, you'd be able to see like my entire face being like nude or like a nudie pink or something like that. But yeah, no, this is this is great. I really like this lip uh, balm a lot. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating. Another favorite is my Item Beauty lip oil, but I can't find it. I don't know where it went. It's probably in one of my purses or something because I do really like it. If you have been around the internet, and you, you know what the Item Beauty lip quip looks like. It's very hydrating as well, very pretty. Uh, I know that one has a color to it, but like I don't mind. When it comes to lip oils, I normally stay inside the lines. <laughs> It's only lip balms and like chapsticks that I just go nuts on. My last beauty favorite is this mascara right here. This is not new to me. This is not a new mascara. I have been using mascara, this mascara for a while. I haven't repurchased it in a few about a year or so because I was trying out other mascaras, but I did recently repurchase the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And this mascara really, really is great. It is very, I have it on today. It's very lengthening. It's very, very dramatic. It makes your lashes look very black, very dark, very dramatic. I like it a lot. So um, this one is an oldie but a goodie and I am still loving it to this day. Repurchased her again finally. So yeah, love this. Let's go into some techie favorites, like Amazon favorites. I do have two of them. Um, one of them is this right here. These are some straws, and I know you're just over here like... Straws. Your favorites are straws. Yeah, I do love these. Um, these are, again, from Amazon, and these are gold 
straws. I have silver ones, I have glass ones, I do love my glass straws, but these ones are gold. They're so cool and they come like this. They come in the pack and I want to say there was like seven or six of each of them. You get straight straws and little bendy straws right here. I normally go for the straight straws personally just because that's what I like. I love how they just make everything look a little more I guess elevated. I don't know. It's I'm having my coffee right now and I have my my gold straw in here. Like does me having a gold straw make my coffee look more expensive? Probably not, it's it's just a coffee, but no, but yeah, I just think they look really nice. I like gold um, more than I do silver. And then the second Amazon favorite is an absolute godsend. This right here, this right here is a um, clothing, it's like a blade and you use it to get off like, like, you know, balling, you know, when your sweater starts pilling and starts balling up and stuff, and then you have like, it doesn't look very nice. This gets rid of all that pilling, all that balling. And then it also gets rid of any like loose threads. You know, when you have a sweater and maybe like your dog or your cat, like got their nail in it or something and like pulled it, you can use this and go over it and it like cuts the thread but it does it really, really nicely. So it just, I don't know, I love this thing. I have been doing this to all of my sweaters, all of my clothes. I did this to the two Ottomans that Raph has in his office. Um, well, one's right here. But this thing is just a freaking lifesaver. I love this. Also, on the back right here, it's got dust all over it. There's like the world's most powerful lint roller. I love this thing. I love this thing like probably one of my best amazon purchases of my life i love this thing so much my next amazon favorite are these glasses god you've, you've seen these everywhere i swear you've seen these everywhere these are from amazon and these are i don't know what they're actually called but they're really really nice they have the silicone little rubber bit right here and then they have matching straws and little bamboo lids and I have a brown one right here I do believe this one might be called amber and then I have a white one and then I also have like this really pretty peachy orange color that my husband uses I have my water in here right now but then you can also if you have multiples of these or, I don't know if you don't need one of them anymore like you can take this silicone part off and it becomes like a really really aesthetic uh, coffee glass like an iced coffee cup or something Thing. It looks really nice. The glass is very tall underneath. I like these a lot. All right, I've got a bag favorite and I'm sure that you can guess what bag favorite it is. This is my new baby. I love her so much. I take her so everywhere. She has been like my number one bag for like the past two weeks. How long have I had her? Maybe two, two and a half weeks. Just look at how precious. She goes with everything. This is the Jacquemus and she is the Le Chiquito uh, little micro bag. And I do have her in the shade Ivory. I have done a full unboxing on this bag so if you haven't seen that I will link it in the eye up here and I'll link it down below for you but she is just so freaking cute and she goes with everything. I'm so 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 glad I got the Ivory color and not the white color because the white again would have been beautiful but I think it would have been too striking and it wouldn't have gone with as many things but no this Ivory color goes with literally everything she doesn't fit very much but you know she's a mini she's a micro pack so what can you expect but i again will link the my unboxing video and i have already done a video comparing this bag to my Polen uh numero ang micro bag so i'll link that one as well if you haven't seen that i have a few clothing pieces that i am obsessed with uh, one of them i'm wearing right now is these pants these are the aritzia effortless pants i feel like everybody and their mom loves these and for good reason they are absolutely amazing i have mine in the color oh it's like something walnut or chestnut something like that i don't know entirely but i have socks on so but yeah here's what they look like they are so beautiful and they just fit so nicely they're very like snug and like nice and tight but not too tight around the waist they fit like a glove around the waist they just kind of flow down like they don't they're not like baggy but they're just a little bit more loose uh, around the thighs and my thighs are where i have all of my problems if nothing like things usually fit my waist but they don't fit my thighs <laughs> so yeah these ones are just so beautiful and lovely and i just love them they have pockets which i'm obsessed with another pair of pants that i am absolutely obsessed with are my ralph lauren pants these are probably 
my most favorite pants that I own at the moment. I love these even more than the Aritzia ones only because I just love the way they look. They go with everything. They make every single outfit look amazing. Even if you were wearing like a tank top, you could put these on and they just make you look five times more put together. I love these pants. I did get these from Farfetch and I had to get a size six because they were out of a size four. And a size six was like, a hundred bucks cheaper for some reason. So I was like, shit, let me get the size six. So I did, and uh, they did not fit me whatsoever. Not at all, I did not fit at all. Um, they were falling off of me, they were way too long, could not walk in them, could not wear them. So I got them tailored, and um, she took them in, the, the lady, she, was, she did a fantastic job. She took them in, and now they're like a size four, and then she did hem them as well, but she kept the um the cuff i love the cuff detail on these pants they're so flattering you know what let me just go ahead and put these on just so you can see what they look like so one thing i will say when it comes to these pants they are a little see-through at the top here so i normally do have to wear like a nude underwear or something I, if i wear black you can kind of see them <laughs> they are just the most beautiful flowy like the Aritzia pants are immaculate but they are a little more stiff they're like just a little more thicker material these ones are so flowy and just like loose and if you can see right here I do have a bodysuit on and it, the bodysuit's brown and I do also have black underwear on so you can probably definitely see so I would recommend if you know you're gonna wear this these pants probably wear either like a nude colored bodysuit, nude underwear, or something like that, you know. So, but yeah, I love these so much. And when I first got them, they didn't have pockets. Well, they did, but they were sewn, to, sewn shut, and I didn't realize that all I had to do was just undo them. And it has pockets you have no idea how excited I am that these have pockets because even when I got these pants, my biggest complaint was not even necessarily that it didn't fit me. I mean, of course, I hated that it didn't fit me, but I was so mad that they didn't have pockets. I was like, why doesn't anything have pockets anymore? It was just me. I didn't know I could do that. I'm so happy. <laughs> to be honest, I got these pants specifically because of Alyssa Lenore. I try not to like specifically copy people, but these pants were the exception. I did see her wearing these pants in like a couple of um, photos on her like to know it and stuff. And then I just, I fell in love with the pants immediately. And then, you know, they were on Farfetch and I bought them very quickly. Just. I really liked them. So I normally don't <laughs> buy things directly that other people have worn, but these pants I just had to have. I had to have these pants. So honestly, I might just keep these on and we'll have like a little outfit change in the middle of the video. <laughs> We're almost done. I feel like this video has been three years long. I have a sweater and yes, it's from Totem. And I'm not sure if I have talked about this sweater or not. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't, but if I have, I'm sorry that I'm talking about it again. If I haven't, then here we go. This is the last Totem sweater that I have purchased and I haven't purchased it anytime recently. I got it like a month, a month and a half ago or so. And I love this sweater. It's amazing. It is the um, alpaca blend. Uh, boxy alpaca knit cream 05 that's what it's called I got this on farfetch and um, I think they're sold out at this time right now uh, of this color but they still do have the brown alpaca one which I also have and I love to pieces but this one is just like a beautiful cream color which I thought was very very pretty I can't wait to wear all of these like for real during winter like I've been wearing these around my house, you know, just because I have them and I don't want them to just be sitting around. But when I walk outside, it's a freaking sauna. So like, I can't wear these outside. I cannot wait to actually wear these for real during winter. Uh, same kind of alpaca knit. It's very hairy. Can you see that? Yeah, it's very hairy. It, she does shed a lot. When I wear this, I have to wear like these pants or like my Aritzia pants, something that doesn't attract hair because oh my god, if I wear leggings or something, I am covered. Absolutely covered. It's like I've grown a sheep on my legs. It's ridiculous, but yeah, I would recommend just wearing something that is not prone to attracting hair. But I love her. She's so cozy and warm, and I'm obsessed. And I got her at like a really nice discount. One more sweater, and this is our last item for the favorites video as well. And this is a hoodie. This is my first ever Anina Bing sweater. Oh my god, I got a stain on it. 
What is that? Pasta sauce? I just realized I got a stain on it. Well, shit, now I have to wash it again. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, this is my first ever Anita Bing sweater, and I really, really like it. She's very expensive for a hoodie, but I don't know. She just fits very nicely. She's really, really cozy. I got her in a size large. She's very comfortable on the inside as well, and it says Anita Bing Sport right there, and I got her in this beautiful, like, Heather Gray has the, you know, little pocket in the front here, which I do find very helpful for when um, all of my pants don't have pockets. She is very oversized, but she doesn't look bad. I mean, I was worried because I got a large and then I was reading the reviews. I should have read the reviews first, but I didn't. Um, I read the reviews after buying it and people were saying, you know, it's really big sweater, you know, get your normal size or if you're gonna upsize, only upsize one. Um, so I was like, oh no, am I going to be swimming in this uh, sweater but no it, it is large but it is still very very cute and definitely wearable like you guys that has been my favorites i feel like i've been talking for five days and um yeah i just hope that you enjoyed the video i hope that you enjoyed my favorites let me know in the comments what your favorite out of this video was let me know if you have or have tried any of these things that i've mentioned just leave me a comment telling me anything just because i'm nosy and i want to know that but you guys thank you so much again for watching the video i really hope that you did enjoy it if you did then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and be sure to ding the little bell down there so that you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!